हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सिस्ट डॉक्टर विकास विजय एंड वेलकम टू आर चैनल अकाउंट्स गुरु इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस द हेड्स एंड सब हेड्स ऑफ कंपनीज बैलेंस शीट एज पर शेड्यूल थ्री ऑफ द कंपनीज एट 2013 वी हैड डिस्कस दीज शॉर्ट टर्म न्यूमेरिक टेक्निक्स टू रिमेंबर शेयर होल्डर्स फंड एस आर एम टू रिमेंबर नॉन करंट लाइबिलिटीज द वर्ड डॉल एंड टू रिमेंबर करंट लाइबिलिटीज द वर्ड टॉस एंड टू रिमेंबर नॉन करंट एसेट्स फाइंड लू एंड लास्ट वॉज डिस्को टू रिमेंबर करंट एसेट्स in this video we will be discussing the items uh, the sub heads in detail what important items we can ask in board exams so the first category is what share capital in share capital as we all know this is the format of share capital and very first item is authorized capital then issued capital then subscribed capital under subscribed we have two headings subscribed and fully paid up subscribed but not fully paid up and After that we have cause in area, so we deduct the cause in area and add shares forfeited account. So for this particular chapter, these are the two items which are very important. We usually ask these two items. So these are the items which you can mark here are important for the board exam. Cause in area and share forfeited account both they fall under the head subscribed capital and the main head share capital. Fine. So this is the very very important item. Or maybe you can write it uh, as subscribed but not fully paid up as the subhead. Now under reserves and surplus, under reserves and surplus. we can see we have various reserves but these are not to be evaluated fine ye exam mein we are not going to ask you so what are important these four items capital reserve capital redemption reserve security premium reserve and debenture redemption reserve that is drr but these item this particular security premium reserve is very very important for the board exam we usually ask this item so students uh, you have to remember this item that the subhead is a security premium reserve and the uh, this is the subhead reserve surplus and the main head is what shareholders fund for this particular item security premium reserve same with the debenture redemption reserve surplus surplus is again the balance and statement of pnl account uh, for this the subhead is reserve surplus and the main main head is what shareholders fund fine so this is the item and these are the two points uh, points to be remember by you like preliminary expense they are usually written off in the year in which such expenses are incurred fine in the very first year and they are written off first out of the security premium reserve and if balance left then out of the statement of pnl secondly as per the latest change in the accounting standard 4 uh, issued by icai the dividend proposed for a year is not a liability till it is approved by the shareholders therefore it will be shown as a contingent liability till last year we used to show it as a short term provisions but now the dividend proposed will be treated as a contingent liability now move it down to the next items we can see here now we have non current liabilities fine under non current liabilities we have long term borrowings so very important item is debentures and bonds you have to remember this then fixed deposits from public these are two items uh, even loan is also there for long term provision you have provision for employee benefits provision for warranties and encashment of employee leave on retirement this particular item so these three items are important for long term provisions for current liabilities we have short term borrowings so loan repayable on demand within 12 months then we have got short term deposits as public deposits other loans and this is the cash credit and bank overdraft these are the two items important for the board exam you can just remember bank overdraft and the cash credit these two items are your current liabilities fine then trade payables under trade payables we have sundry creditors and bills payable now next is other current liabilities we have various items under the head of other current liabilities but you have to remember like the interest accrued due and not due due and not due both are other current liabilities any income which is received in advance like commission received in advance or interest received in advance it is your other current liability unpaid dividend this is also important item for the exam it is other current liability any outstanding rent outstanding salary that is any outstanding expense is also again other current liability cause in advance which we have studied in issue of share chapter any advance received is also your other current liability and unclaimed dividend so both unpaid and unclaimed dividend they fall under other current liability fine this is very very important item for the board examinations now next short term provision under short term provision we have provision for employee benefit but it should be short term specifically it must be given otherwise it's a long term now provision for taxation provision for expenses and provision for doubtful debt again for this particular item we have two option either we can deduct from trade receivables or we can show as a short term provision fine now 
one important information in the absence of any information always remember public deposits and provision for employee benefits will be treated as long term borrowing okay and long term provision respectively it means public deposits will be treated as long term borrowing and the provision for employee benefit will be treated as long term provision this you have to remember now coming down to the asset side first heading we have non current assets under non current we have got fixed assets and under fixed assets we have tangible assets as we all know we have already done in class 11th also uh, the terms of various assets and liabilities under that all the assets which provide benefit for more than one year and they are not meant for resale they are known as what uh, non current assets so under this land building machinery vehicles building furniture all are your tangible under intangible we know goodwill patents trademark copyrights brand and the very important item which we have asked in the previous examination also mining rights your masters in publishing titles related to the publishing field these are your intangible assets your recipes in case of the food industry and your copyrights patents any formula models license franchise these all are your intangible and these items are important for the examination fine other these items are not to be evaluated in the board exam now next coming down to the non current investments trade investments means any investment which is made by a company in shares or debentures of another company not being a subsidiary to promote its own trade and business for example if i am a garment manufacturing company and i am investing money into a uh, company which is uh, manufacturing cloth fine and i am buying its shares so that particular investment is, is my non current investment that is trade investment other investments we have various investments in property in equities in preference shares in debentures and bonds in mutual funds they are the other investments fine now long term loans and advances they are capital advances and security deposits now moving down to the current assets uh, uh, under current assets the first item we have got is current investments fine these are current investments uh, which are expected to realize within 12 months from the date of balance sheet next next item we have inventories under inventory we have raw material work in progress and finished goods these three items stock in trade stores and spares and loose tools these last two items are very very important for examination point of view stores and spares and loose tools these two comes under the head of inventories fine and we have what inventory of three times raw material work in progress and finished goods so for board exam please remember stores and spares and loose and tools loose tools are a part of inventory kindly just remember stores and spares and loose tools they are part of inventory fine next comes trade receivables sundry debtors and bills receivable always remember provision for doubtful debt is, is either deducted from the amount of trade receivables or may be shown under the head of long term or short term provision depending on the whether trade receivables are long term or short term next is cash and cash equivalent we have bank balance cash in hand check draft these are your cash and cash equivalent short term loans and advances includes advances recoverable in cash and this is a very important aspect other current assets other current assets include prepaid expense accrued income and any payment of advance tax fine now comes down to current liability uh, contingent liabilities and commitments those liabilities which may or may not happen in future are known as contingent liabilities for example proposed dividend related to the current year because it depends on the approval of the shareholder so a uh, current year dividend propose is what your contingent liability uh, claim against the company not not acknowledges that it means any court case is going on against the company maybe from the labor side or any customer side and it has not been yet decided so it would be your contingent liability then bills receivable discounted with the bank is again your contingent liability well, now next is commitment under commitment we have what uncalled liability on shares and investments partly paid up and estimates amount of contracts remaining to be executed so these two are commitments fine so this is the whole balance sheet what we have done we have covered the important items and in the next video i will be taking the specific item which are very very important for the board exams and normally in board exam we uh, usually get those items so in next part uh, you can just uh, watch the entire one specific particular question on the basis of this chapter and that will be the conclusive part so this is part 2 related to the heads and subheads i hope you would have liked the video if you have liked the video please give me thumbs up because uh, if you if, if you just 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 show your uh, like how did you like the video you, you show your response so it provides us great motivation and if you like it please do share it and subscribe our channel accounts guru so thanks a lot for this particular video and we will soon meet you with the other useful video Thanks a lot bye bye take care god bless you